Hey everybody, Dr. Ray here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about scenes in OBS. What are they? Why do you use them? So basically what a scene is, it's like a whole new set within your video. It's like a whole new place to add things. So let's say, for example, I wanted to have like a be right back uh, message for my users, or I wanted to have like an, a video introduction, or I wanted to have like a hold on, I'm going to come on in a second, or like screens loading, or I'm like prepping the show. So if I wanted any of those kind of messages, that's one reason that I would use a scene. So let me show you how to do it. Let me show you an example. So first of all, you can see I have two scenes here on the screen. Scene one. So right now, scene one, this is like what I want to record, which is just simply my desktop. I don't really want to record this, but I just have it on here for the example. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, so let's say I wanted a video introduction and I actually use this for my video, how to create a video introduction video. So when I'm doing a, one of the shows I create, we use a video intro. So all that I do to go to my video intro is I click scene two. So I'm going to click on scene two and you're going to see a video introduction. So basically what happens when I'm running this show, I have scene two play. When scene two is done, like it's done, I simply click back on scene one to go to scene one. So think of it almost like another blank canvas, but they're all related and tied together. For example, like right now I'm capturing this display, but let's say I wanted another window open that I might want to go to really quick because I do have multiple monitors or let's say I have like four pieces of software up. Um, I might click new scene and watch what happens when I click scene three, click OK. It gives me another blank canvas to work with. And then I can go through and start to add whatever I would like here. For example, I want to capture a different window or a different display. I'll do display capture again. Um, I can't capture display two. There's display two again and display three. Oh yeah, that's one's not working for some reason. And uh, well, I know why, but it, beside that has nothing to do with this video, but I could do that. I could capture a, a third or fourth display if I wanted to. And then I could very easily just click back and forth between them while, because be, whatever you see on the screen is what you're recording. So when I click scene two, this is recording now. Scene one, this is recording. So I could create, you know, on scene three here, I could actually create a message. I'll just create text, click OK, and this text will be, be right back. Click OK, and that's my scene. So let's say I'm recording, I'm playing like a game, you know, I'm playing whatever League of Legends, not that I play it with that, but I'm playing it. And then I, you know, what? I need to take a bio break really quick. Hey guys, I'll be right back. I click this. Now this is recording. Instead of me having to stop the stream, they see this. When I come back, hey guys, I'm back. Boom. Click on my scene. You could use this for anything. It'd be like act two, act one. And you could use this to really create some powerful videos. Some of the things you do with scenes, you can do with sources right here like i can hide a source but it starts to get a little choppy right it starts to get a little especially when i have like 20 things happening right here to scroll through and find what's what so scenes are really just an organization tool really simple to use really cool really nice feature of obs later i'll give it a try good luck